Welcome back guys, hope you are well. So today is the video a lot of you have been waiting for, the breakdown of the RS6. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you do enjoy these videos, please do give it a thumbs up. I do apologize for the noise in the background. There's a lot of cars driving past. We are just off the main road. So before we start the video, I just want to get the elephant out of the room. So as you guys know, this isn't the RS6 that we built. The one that we built, we've actually sold it on now. So if you are new to the channel, we purchased the RS6 from the Savage Auction. It had front damage as well as side damage as well. So we fixed it up and we modified it as well. And just recently we sold it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this car as an example. It does belong to a friend of ours. I'm just going to use it as an example of where the damage is and what we paid. Now our RS6 was a pre-facelift. This is a facelift model and it's a performance edition as well. So it's got a lot more extras compared to uh, the RS6 that we had. So it's like a higher spec compared to ours. But anyways, I'm going to use that as an example. I'm going to talk you through what we did. Uh, let's get straight into it. So <clears throat> for the salvage car, we paid £23,889. So that's basically with all the fees that is. And uh, we bought the car. It was quite far up north. I think it was close to Scotland. So we had to pay £300 to get the car recovered. So that's £300 for recovery. And uh, if you guys remember, we had side damage. So both doors were damaged. There was quite a massive dent inside the driver's side door. The B post was dented up as well, as well as the lower door sill. Now, <clears throat> what we did is we had to purchase obviously both doors because they were both really bad. So the front door we purchased for a hundred and a hundred pounds actually. Which was, that was not too bad. So the front door we purchased for a hundred pounds. So that was just a blank door with no door card. So on the front uh, side of the car, the damage was mostly on the driver's side just here. So we had to purchase another uh, headlight. So the ballast for that headlight was seventy-six pounds. Guys, now these costs are not in any particular order, so they're a bit all over the place. Now, the headlight, that was uh, £295. That came all the way from Lithuania, so it took about two weeks just to get here. But when we got the headlight, it was just completely blank. It was missing a lot of things, like the ballast, it was missing the module, it was missing the built-in fan as well. So we had to buy all those parts separate. Uh, as well as that, we had to purchase uh, the alloys. But we didn't have to purchase them, to be honest. The alloys that we had, we, weren't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't really like them, to be honest. So we thought we'd get the different alloys. So if you remember, the alloys that we had, they were diamond cut. They weren't as good as these. These looked way better, but they were something similar to this. Diamond cut with the black accents as well. So they were 20 inch uh, alloys as well. And the ones that we had before were actually 19. So we sold those on and we purchased the 20 inch alloys. And that basically cost us 850 pounds. But the alloys that we bought, they didn't come with the tires. So we had to purchase the tires separate. So that's 850 pounds just for alloys. So the, the same seller that we purchased alloys from, he had the lower lip for the front bumper. We didn't have any intention of buying the front uh, lip for the bumper, but he was selling it for 20 pounds and he's about to throw it away. So we decided, you know what, we'll just buy it. And to be fair, it actually made a big difference to the look of the car. I mean, with the lip, it actually makes the car look a lot more aggressive as well. I mean, looking at this car without the lip, it doesn't look that great. If it had the lower lip, it does make a massive difference. So that was well worth the 20 quid that I paid. Right, uh, skirt. Now, if you remember, our skirt was cracked up as well. It was all smashed. So we had to pay 80 pounds for the skirt, which is an absolute bargain. If you guys remember, the skirt was the same color as our car as well. So it was in good condition. So we didn't have to paint it. It was just a straight fit. Carbon fiber fob. Again, this is something we didn't have to purchase, but we did. And it was quite cheap anyways. 23 pounds for the carbon fiber fob. Uh, we had to also purchase the front bumper. Now, when we purchased the front bumper, if you were to buy a complete front bumper with all the grills, you are looking at about, I think it's like seven, eight hundred pounds, the cheapest one. So what we did is we just purchased the shell of the front bumper. So the, we purchased the front bumper without the grills, without anything. It was just completely blank. It didn't even have the uh, lip that goes on here. It didn't have that. But if you guys remember, the original bumper that we've got, it's got that lower lip. Uh, sorry, it's, it's got that lower grill. It's got this lower lip as well. So all that we did is we just transferred the parts from the uh, our old bumper onto the new bumper. So all that we had to purchase was uh, the uh, main grill and this grill down here as well, as well as the toe caps. From bumper here, so that's 170 pounds just for a blank from bumper without anything on there. So we had to purchase all four tires. That cost us uh, 240 pounds for all four tires. Uh, as well as that, we had to purchase a slam panel. So there's a plastic panel that runs across the top, in case you guys don't know. And basically, our, our panel was cracked, so we had to get another one. So that wasn't too bad. It actually cost £76.50, which was actually a bargain, to be honest. Now, the lower grill for the offside. Now, this grill just here. Now, we paid... Oh, I almost fell there. Um, we paid £50.40 for that lower grill. So that's uh, not too bad, to be honest. Now, the door card. We paid £80 for the door card. So you guys are probably wondering, that's actually quite cheap for RS6. If you do remember, we actually purchased a, a door card for an Audi A6. And what we did is we, we completely stripped it down. And all the parts we got off the RS6 door card, 
we took them off and transferred them onto the A6 door cards, so basically converting them into R6 door card because they're both kind of built the same. Uh, so yeah, that saved us quite a bit of money. The front grill, so the main grill just here, we purchased that for about 300 pounds. If you guys remember, it was a good fit as well. So that was brand new, so the, yeah, that was an absolute bargain that was. Now, if, if you guys remember, we purchased a door for the uh, rear side, and it was basically the wrong door, it was A6 door, not R6 door. Now, the difference is the arch, if you, if you look here, you'll see this arch sticks out a lot more. Now, on an A6, it's a lot more flat, it's not as uh, flared as this arch is. So the door has, has to obviously line up with the arch, so it's a bit more flared than the RS6 compared to the A6. The A6 is a lot more flat, so when we did put the A6 door on, we didn't know at the time. There was a massive gap here. So we had to send that back and purchase the RS6 door. When we did uh, go to purchase the RS6 door, the same seller had the wing and the hood as well. Now we purchased the rear door, the bonnet, uh, as well as the uh, wing as well. I think it was the driver's side wing that we purchased. Yeah, it yeah. was. was. Driver's side. So yeah, all that in total cost £1,100. So that's the most amount of money we spent in one go on parts. So £1,100. Now the bumper tray was £50. So that's not too bad, that's actually quite cheap for an RS6 bumper tray. Uh, spray booth, if you guys remember, we painted the RS6 in a spray booth. Now obviously it's not going to be free, you have to pay uh, to use it. So we paid £110 to use that spray booth. It's better than spraying the car in our unit. It's not the best environment to be spraying cars to be honest, we'd rather use it in a spray booth. Anyways, the remap, if you guys remember, we did modify the exhaust and we had uh, someone come down to uh, do the remap on it. He charged us £180 for the bangs and pops and to be honest with you, the car sounded absolutely insane. Uh, as you guys heard, the sound of the car was just completely different to how it sounded uh, before the remap. So it's definitely worth uh, spending that little extra for, that, for the bangs and pops. <clears throat> now the paint and lacquer, we spent £130. The headlight module, like I mentioned before, we had to purchase the ballast, we had to purchase the module as well. So the module itself was £30, so that's not too bad. Guys, now the tall eye cover, now apparently on the RS6 is like loads of different types. You got the pre-face lift, you got the facelift, and I don't know what other model you get as well. But anyways, uh, we purchased one for twelve ninety nine. We purchased another one for seven pounds, and they were both the wrong ones. Even though in the title it said it's off a fifteen plate, in the fifteen plate you get a pre-face lift and you get face lift as well. So those two uh, toy covers didn't fit. If you come on this way, you guys remember the RS6 that we had was uh, there was a lot of chrome on the RS6. So the badge, the rings on the RS6 badge, it was uh, all silver, all chrome. So what we did is we basically debadged it uh, and we placed new badges on. We basically put the black uh, badges. So for this badge here, we paid 979 and for the ring badge, we paid uh, 999. But to be honest with you, it was definitely worth it. It did change the look of the car as well. Now the vinyl ramp, now if you guys remember, the RS6 that we had, it didn't have uh, black uh, trims like this we had a uh, it's like a dull silver trim so we had to basically wrap all the uh, trims as well as the roof lining as well not roof lining sorry guys the roof rails so we had to wrap the trims wrap the roof rails all that come to uh, 30 pounds for the wrap now the headlight coating now the headlight that we did put in the car it did need coating so uh, a good friend of ours did the coating for us he's only charged us 30 pounds so that was definitely worth doing well it had to be done to be honest so the toe cap, now if you guys remember I mentioned we purchased two toe caps and they were the wrong ones so we had to go to the dealership. Now if you can't find parts anywhere else, we do go to the dealership to purchase parts and they charged us, just for that cap, they charged uh, £39.80 so that is quite a lot of money for a small little cap. Uh, so yeah, uh, the headlight fan. Now again guys, we had to purchase so many parts for just that light. We had to purchase the uh, fan as well. The fan itself was another uh, £35. So we had to purchase the ballast, the fan, the module as well. So there's a bunch of parts that we had to purchase for that light, so it all added up. The windscreen itself, that was £250. That's with the fitting, definitely worth it. Uh, engine under tray, further £50. Uh, the lining as well. So underneath the car, you've got massive uh, rectangular trays that run across the bottom. So if you come on this way, just back here, there's a massive tray that runs across the bottom. We had to purchase, uh, I think, uh, one for this side. And we had to also purchase the splash guard as well for this side. I think it was this side or the driver's side, but I don't remember. I, remember, I know we had to purchase one. So that was £118 for the splash guard and the under tray as well for the side. Uh, I've also got a washer here. I'm not too sure what the washer's for. We got that as well, 942 uh, wheel house. I'm not too sure what that is again, but that's £67.80. Uh, a bunch of random bolts, £10.19. 
the battery as well guys the battery that we had it kept losing charge it couldn't hold the uh, charge so we had to get another one that was a further 200 pounds uh, the ac if you guys remember we actually removed the rad get it refurbished we had to fill it back up the ac again that was 30 pounds uh the oil as well we had to basically completely service the car so that was further uh, 70 pounds now guys if you remember i mentioned how we purchased other rims so the original rims that we had in the car we sold them on we actually sold them on quite cheap uh, how much you sell them on for 700 pounds which is actually quite a good price uh, considering that they actually come with the tires with a lot of thread as well and the sensors so yeah in total the parts come to 5269 pounds and 21 pence if you minus 700 pounds that brings it down to 4569 pounds and 21 pence so now if you add the cost of the parts along with the cost of the actual car itself that will give us a grand total of 28458 pounds and 41 pence so all in all to get the rs6 back on the road to get it looking how how it did as you guys saw uh, it cost 28458 pounds and 41 pence now bear in mind guys these cars uh, the cheapest 2015 player i've seen is uh, around 40,000 pounds so the value of that car uh, that we had salvage title is going to be around 35,000 pounds so the car value is about 35,000 now i also want to talk about the tax in the car now it's not the cheapest car to tax i ain't gonna lie i mean my regular everyday car costs 30 pounds a year now this car is a complete opposite it costs 631 pounds and 31 pence uh, just for the year's tax now I was paying uh, monthly, so my initial first month's payment was 97 pounds and 15 pence, just just for the first month. Uh, so what they do is after after the first month, they uh, drop it down to 48 pounds 56 pence. So you pay 48 pounds 56 pence uh, after that first month onwards. So yeah, uh, it is quite a bit of money just on the tax itself. We are looking at purchasing uh, a budget build as well for you guys. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below. As well as that, we are looking for another performance project car as well. So if you guys want to see uh, a car that you actually like on the channel, drop it down below. Make sure you mention what car you want to see. And there's a good chance we'll actually purchase the car if it gets enough likes or if it gets enough comments uh, asking about the same car. So yeah, guys, we're going to end it there. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and like the video if you enjoyed it. So we're going to see you guys on the next video.